2500 multiplied with 100 how much you will get 2 lakh at the time of collection of payment you have taken 6% less what is the premium write down premium is 5% on 4 lakh 5% is remember in front of debenture it is always actual value Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing Vidyas from PU College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the 10th session of your topic called Issue and Redemption of Debenture. Under Issue of Redemption of Debenture, we have done so many problems. We have done problems for 6 marks as well as we have completed your 12 marks questions also. In today's session, we will work out one problem for 12 marks. Now, this will be your question paper problem. The similar kind of questions you may expect in your examination. This will be your question, same thing. Journal entries, you have to remember, calculations, I will do. Now, first thing, the major changes in this problem Every problem they used to give whole amount, but here you need to calculate, means they have given number of shares, share value is 100, you have to multiply and you have to write. Earlier they used to give 2,50,000, but here instead of 2,50,000, they have given 2,500 shares of rupees 100 each, multiply and then you have to calculate. Now. 2500 debentures 100 each issued at par issued at par redeemable at par redemption also at par so what is the value 2500 multiplied with 100 how much you will get 250000 250000 we'll go to your answer so before this you have to mention this will be particular this will be date or serial number. The heading must be journal entries. Now, so what is the value they have given? 2,50,000, 2,50,000, 2,50,000, 2,50,000. Your first statement is done. As I told you, your calculation must be 2,500 multiplied with 100. So your value will be 2,50,000. This is done. We'll go for the second one. Second one. Debentures of rupees 100 each issued at par. Now, issued at par. Redeemable at premium. Premium at what percentage? Remember, this is 10 percentage. This is the second one. What is the value? 6,000. As I told you, this is not together. Individual statement are separate. This is separate, this is separate, this one is separate, which are not interrelated. So, all five are different aspects. So, don't link with your first one. Your first one is done over. Now, we are doing second one. Now, 6,000 shares of rupees, how much? 100 each. 6,000 into 100, how much? 6 lakh. All your calculations should happen on 6 lakh. If they have given 10% premium means, remember, this 6,000 is only number of shares, not value of share. What is the value of share? 6,000 into 100 is your value of share. Now, 6,000 into 100 is 6 lakh. What is the premium? 10%. On 6 lakh, if you calculate 10%, it will be 60,000. I'll go back to your answer. Now, in this, 6 lakh, 60,000, 6 lakh, 60. 6 lakh, 60, 6 lakh, 60. How come you got in this 6,000 shares of rupees 100 each? How, how much you got? 6 lakh. What is the premium percentage? 10%. 10 divided by 100. Your premium is 60,000. This is a working note for your second statement. Now, debenture 6 lakh. What is your premium? 60,000. 
सो सिक्स लैख सिक्स फी सिक्स लैख सिक्स फी इजी कैलकुलेशन बट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दिस जर्नल एंट्रीज आई गो फॉर दर्ड वन टू थाउजेंड डिवेंचर्स ऑफ रुपीज हंड्रेड इच इश्यूड एट फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट रिडीमेबल एट पार एज आई टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट यू टू डू नंबर ऑफ शेयर टू थाउजेंड वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड इंटू हंड्रेड इट विल बी टू लैक लेटर यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट वेदर इट इज ए प्रीमियम वेदर इट इज ए डिस्काउंट बट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई नंबर ऑफ शेयर विथ वैल्यू ऑफ शेयर आई गो बैक टू योर आंसर This is the third one issued at discount, redeemable at par. Now two thousand shares. It will be two lakh, two lakh. This is done. Now we come back to your first one. What is the discount value? Discount value is how much? Five percent. So five percent means on two lakh. The calculation will be two lakh. Multiplied with five divided by hundred, you will get ten thousand. How come you got two lakh? For that calculation will be two thousand multiplied with hundred. That is your two lakh. Hope you understood. Now two lakh is your total value. One lakh ninety plus ten. How come you got one lakh ninety? Two lakh minus ten thousand is one lakh ninety thousand. So. Your third one is done. We'll go for the fourth one. Fourth one, four thousand shares of rupees hundred each. What is the first thing? Four thousand into hundred. Now, each issue at six percent discount, redeemable at par. This is your fourth one. Your fourth one again. Four thousand into hundred. Four. Thousand multiplied with hundred. How how much you get? Four lakh. What is the discount they have given? I'll go back to your question. Fourth one in this issued at six percent discount and redeemable. We'll make small changes because par is already over. So redeemable at premium at five percent. So just assume that this will be your question. Debenture issued. Why? Because your third one was issued at discount and redeemable at par. It is already done. So we'll go for the next uh, different one. Issued at discount and redeemable at premium. So what is the discount they have given? Issued at discount, redeemable at premium. What is the discount? The discount is six percent. What is the premium? Premium is five percent. So it will be five percent. As I told you earlier, at the time of issue means at the time of collection of payment, you have taken six percent less. At the time of repayment, you are paying five percent more. Six plus five. What is the total loss? Eleven percent. Total loss is eleven percent. Remember this eleven percent. Why? Because at the time of collection also there is a loss. At the time of repayment also there is a loss. I'll give you example for this. Instead of collecting hundred rupees, you have collected ninety five. How much loss? Five rupee loss. At the time of repayment, you paid one not five. Means how much loss? Five. Here also five. There also five. Similarly. Discount six percent, premium five percent. What is the total loss? The total loss is eleven percent. In this, first you write down your value of four lakh. It is done. What is the premium? Write down premium is five percent. On four lakh, five percent is twenty thousand. This is the first thing. This is the Second thing, what is the third one? As I told you, what is the percentage of loss? Six plus five, eleven percent. Calculate four lakh multiplied with eleven by hundred. You will get forty-four thousand. This is your third one. Forty-four. Your loss you have to mention here now. 
Now total four lakh twenty. Your total is four lakh twenty thousand minus forty four thousand. What is the answer? Three lakh seventy six thousand. So this is your final. Remember this three lakh seventy six thousand is balancing figure. From the total we deducted loss. So you will get three lakh seventy. Six thousand. Hope you understood. This is the fourth one. The next entry will be easy. Four lakh twenty thousand. Four lakh plus twenty thousand. Hope you understood. We'll go for the fifth one. Your fifth one will be eight thousand. Ten percent debentures of rupees hundred is issued at ten percent premium. Redeemable at par. Easy. What is the number of shares? Eight thousand. What is the value? Hundred. Eight thousand into hundred. Eight lakh. Now, what is the percentage they have given? Ten percent. This ten percent we will not mention. Why? Because there is a name of the debenture. Name of the debenture we will not consider. Now, issue at ten percent premium. This ten percent you have to mention. Remember, the name of the debenture you have to mention here. Wherever you have debenture, ten percent debenture. This must be four percent debenture. So there is a question. In the question, what percentage mentioned? We have to write that. Now we'll go for the fifth one. In this, eight lakh eighty, eight lakh eighty. How come eight lakh eighty? Ten percent premium. So your number of shares eight thousand multiplied with hundred. How much you will get? Eight lakh. What is the percentage of premium? Ten percent. Your answer is. Eighty thousand. This is a calculation for your fifth one. Now, eight lakh eighty thousand. Eight lakh eighty thousand. It is done. Debenture account and bank account. So this is eighty thousand is your premium. Now, we'll go for this this one first one. In this, your bank account will be eight lakh eighty. Why it is eight lakh eighty? Eight lakh. Your actual value plus eighty thousand is your premium. Total value will be eight lakh eighty thousand. This is done. Eight lakh plus eighty. Remember, in front of debenture, it is always actual value. It should not be more. Then we'll come for the next one. Redemption at par. Now, in this redemption at par means actual value. So it must be eight lakh. It must be. Eight lakh. It is not eight lakh eighty. Why? Because always keep it in mind. In front of debenture, it should be always actual value. It cannot be more. It cannot be less. This is a major rule for your calculation. In front of debenture, it must be always actual value. Just check. We'll come from the first one. First one. In front of debenture, how much we have? Two lakh fifty. In front of debenture, how much we have? Six lakh. It cannot be more or less. It should be actual value always. For example, debenture, how much we have? Six lakh. It cannot be more. It cannot be less. Similarly, your fourth. Similarly, your fifth one. This is all about your today's session. I'll revise once. Take screenshot of this. This will be one, two, three, three statements. Fourth and fifth one, your first and second journal entries, third and fourth. Take screenshot or write down because working notes are very important. Later you may forget how you got these numbers. So write down working note there itself. And this is your last one. So this is the end of your session. In the next session, we'll come up with one more problem on redemption as well as issue of debenture. Thank you.